This is a Bell & Howell auto load portable cassette player. It doesn't record, it just, uh, just plays. It has an auto load, which... Just uh, grab a cassette. No more fooling around with these portable cassette players. And uh, in case you're wondering, no, you cannot put it in the other way around. So the auto load right there, Bell and Howell. Fast forward, stop and play, and no, it's uh, it's stuck. <laughs> how the fast forward is because you know didn't want uh can't be too quality here can't have it so it locks into place or you can't have a rewind volume it doesn't say volume but you could tell it's volume Look, i like this thing it's got kind of like a weird profile to it But, you got your uh, window here for the, for the, uh, so you can see how long in the tape you are. But, today is going to be just a cleaning. And of course... We're going to be using these. So, this is going to be way easier than those radios I uh, cleaned up because they just don't have those uh, stupid dials that get all dirty and kind of messed up. Look at that. Already with just a few wipes. This is going to be kind of a bear to clean because it just has so like many little like ridges and stuff here. Unfortunately, it is missing that. Probably said Bell and Howell or something like that. But, um,. I got this textured plastic and it's gonna be a real pain to clean. Because dirt likes to get in between the uh, things. Back here are these little weird black dots. I don't know what the hell they are. They're, it's not mouse poop, it's like dirt. Ugh, I'm gonna have to clean my desk after this. Luckily, I have like this silicone kind of uh, mat on here. You might be able to see, like the reflections, which is nice because it doesn't. Uh, cause it means I could just wipe down a piece of plastic instead of wood, meaning I could actually use these alcohol wipes and clean it right. You have your head phone and your nine volt DC. That's obviously supposed to say headphone. I don't know why they didn't add hone after it. But, um, yeah, that's really weird. I've never seen them, seen a thing do that. And it's obviously supposed to be like that. It's not like it's rubbed away here, because it's centered. It wouldn't be centered like that if it said, if it had the full uh, lettering. That's weird. Let's get this cassette out of the way. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to test it, mainly because I don't know if I have any of the batteries that go into this. Actually, I haven't even checked the battery compartment in this. I only paid a dollar for this, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Well, I shouldn't say that because the problem is I bought this at an estate sale. Well, estate sale. 
It was more like a garage sale and a state sale mixed in between each other, because, I mean, like, it was a garage, it was an estate sale, but they kept a lot of stuff in the house, so it was a garage, it was, all the stuff was in a garage. Had some pretty interesting stuff there, but this and the 8-track that I've been looking for is the only thing I bought. And I paid a dollar for both, so. I mean, yeah. As you see, that, mm, that already looks way better. And that's only just with a few passes. Oh, yeah, look at that. This knob also looks way better, too. Is that rust? No, okay. I thought that was rust on there, but it's not. It already looks better. Not completely better, but better. side in there with the pen. Yep. And I'm kind of sad because the, well, because the main, I mean, I didn't go all, because I traveled an hour for this thing, for this estate sale on really, really windy farm roads because there was a television set there that I wanted. And, of course, I didn't ask the lady before the uh, sale started about the condition of it or working condition. And it had sound but no picture. And I was with my dad and my dad because just in case they need to load anything. And my dad said, oh, I don't think we should get it, even though the set was $25. But I'm kind of running out of room for large stuff anyways. I gotta get rid of, I gotta sell some stuff, and I'm in the works of selling some stuff, so. You know what? Might as well, uh, so you know what? And it's very, 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 and it was a very, very similar set to a, uh, to one I already have. So I decided to just pass it up. There, uh, but I'm still kind of a little sad that I drove an hour and a half up these windy, dangerous roads uh, for this. <laughs> probably doesn't even work either. The rubber print in here is probably destroyed. But I'm still going to test it, and it was a dollar. There was a record player there I wanted, too, and it was this really interesting RCA. Actually, you know, I have a photo of it. Uh, let me pull up the photo. That's it. There's the record player. That's the uh, that w um, that was the volume knob, and that was a tone knob. As you can see, the RCA logo. This was pre nineteen sixty eight. No, focus. There we go. There's the... Oh. There's the model number. Uh, is this blue and white? Or is it... Yeah, blue and white. It's more of a gray, but whatever. VGP... 11A. That's the model number of the record player. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna look that up later. And the reason I passed this up was because it actually the record player worked. It was a problem with the amplifier. The amplifier had some sort of like filter capacitor issue or short in it, and it made this awful humming noise. And when you put the uh, needle on the record, the record actually did play, and it actually display noise out of from the record it was just that it was really distor disordered i mean it, it was ten dollars but i mean i had to do a lot of work in it for it and i mean it was massive heavy i'm, I'm still a little sad i passed it up because i've never seen that model before 
But what are you going to do? Anyways, I'm going to get back to doing cleaning this and not dwell on the uh, past decision uh, decisions. And you know what? If it is worth a lot of money, sure, I'll be kicking myself. But, I mean, how was I going to know? As I always say, you can't dwell on stuff you did not know. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And I know that doesn't probably make sense to some people, but... I don't really know how to explain it, nor do I want to. This is, already, this is actually already cleaning up pretty nice. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm curious. Let's see in the battery compartment. Oh, that's not a good sign. Huh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ooh, those are old. Yep, this has not been used in a while. Those are some ever readies. Look at that corrosion on that one. Whew. This one's a little better, but whoo Boy, that is bad. No pattern. No, oh, well, ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of dirt. Right there. Ooh. That came in bad. Oh. That is gross. You know what? I could probably fix that. But for right now, I'm just going to close this back up and pretend I did not see that. Ew. Gross. I'm just going to put that on the floor right now and... Uh, Get the garbage and get this crud all off of here. Oh god, it's like ew. It's like sand or something. Like dirt, but it's like seeds or whatever. And the garbage you go. cleaning the house a little bit more so you're gonna be seeing like some toy cars and crap just some crap lying around uh, just some crap lying around from a long time ago but onto this what's that Ooh. That could be actually rodent poop. Yeah, that could be rodent poop. Oh, God. That is disgusting. Oh, oh my God. It's just come. It's just. Oh, God.
God. Oh, this is going to be torture. Alright, well, you know what? I'm just going to leave that grill for later. What I really should do is just take this apart and um, uh, clean it with, like, soap and water and not just, like, with just going over it with an alcohol wipe. That's what I'm probably going to do. And I can't do that on camera. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Next video will probably be me of me testing this. But I don't know if I have any of the... I think those are C-cell batteries. So I'm probably going to have to run uh, get them when I run to the store. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.